Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. We got special messages today. Um, as you can see, I have replaced my horseshoe. Um, in fact, I need to move it over a little bit while I talk. Um, yeah, whoever you are, that you had to have broken in my house because there's no way that this would have just disappeared out of in thin air and it wasn't in my laundry it wasn't in my house I've moved every piece of furniture and uh, yeah it just disappeared and I keep it with my jewelry every night before I go to sleep so it like I said it just disappeared but understand whatever whoever however you are that what you take from me I will always get back because that is the nature of the MVPs. And they are on the rise. So MV, M, M, most valuable players are on the rise now. And accountability has to be taken. So where things were at in 2020 when Pluto went into Aquarius... It's going to be tried again, guys. So we all have to be balanced and level-headed and be able to handle what's next. All right. I got a message this morning from the afterworld. And I'm going to share that with you. And even though these are not my words, I don't own them. I ain't trying to mess with a copyright okay because I'm just speaking them because that's kind of where I was led to go this morning and by a certain someone who's not here anymore I mean I get downloads from all over and this download came from the afterworld all right so I'm gonna read it to you you'll know where it comes from just hang on to your hats and then we'll get into the reading. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric word life means forever and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never-ending happiness you can always see the sun, day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one, Dr. Everything, everything will be all right. In this life, things are much harder than in the afterworld. In this life, you're on your own. And if you, your elevator tries to bring you down, go crazy. All right? So you, you all know where that come from. That was a direct download to me this morning. And I, was, I, I feel very, very privileged to get that download because that person was a freedom fighter. And that's why they're not here anymore. So, kudos to that person for giving me this download. And I love you all very much. So, let's get into the reading. So, like I said, MVPs are on the rise. That means all of the awakened souls that were meant to come into this, this next phase phase are changing the game so we have the three of cups the truth about a group who wanted this for all of us all right everybody's figuring this out now and that's why the mvps are on the rise scorpio energy if you watched the video I posted in my community page, that was when I first started my channel. 
and uh, for the third time and I made a statement about how we're going from Scorpio to Sagittarius and that is setting fire to the rain it is it started in 2020 this is this whole year will be the grand finale of that and the beginning of a new era so there are those who are trying to direct this in their favor but the righteous shall prevail just just keep that in mind no matter what challenges come your way like I said in in the post i am living breathing proof that you can win if not win at least bring yourself back into balance because trust me i am challenged with these every day because i can astro travel and they come into my reality or into my dreams and they test me on the nightly so understand that that could be what's happening to you too all right so the challenge here is the three of wands to wait for the win because we're not sure how it's going to go yet. All right. But as that stated, if you're if you feel like your elevator tries to bring you down, don't let it. Smile and move forward anyway. Because it's gonna. That is the whole point to all of this. The Nine of Wands, the Nine of. Wow. The Nine of Swords. And, and on the 15th, Venus is going to be conjunct Uranus. So lots of relationships are gonna come into question. Lots of people are, are gonna be questioning their relationship with everything, especially where the Ace of Cups is concerned most recent past so this has already started happening the nine of swords the nine of wands what did you sacrifice for love what's in the immediate future spirit what's in the immediate future now you gotta understand that I'm reading this from a world level a world view not each collective that is why it's a general immediate future unconditional love and the two of pentacles and the tower so there will be investments in endings and some some of them will be shockers i mean some of the revelations that other people will come into the ones that are meant to be together that have been kept apart on purpose because together they're ten times stronger than they are on their own and they got each other's backs okay that is the whole purpose to the to the real twin flame dynamic is that both of you have a full cup and you're strong enough on your own but double strong together all right this is going to come into play for anyone who is meant to be in that position so you may not even know your divine counterpart yet but you will factors affecting the situation i can't make it up that's the death card. Blocked for the win. We are on offense. And we are going to win the Super Bowl. Because that's just the way how it does. All right. We gonna get that Super Bowl ring because whatever this was has been blocked. 
locked by the divine, by spirit. About a better swing. Knocked it right out the park. You know, there's going to be a lot of that going on, but the it, it was always a choice. And lots of people are afraid. Don't be afraid. That's why I was given that download. Be a warrior, not a victim. You're being watched, viewer. And the masks are coming off. They want to end your destiny. That is their only job here as Agent Smiths. Is to end your destiny. Whatever you're destined for. Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, just like I said. Setting fire to the rain. Setting fire to the sadness and, 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 and becoming that hero that you seek. That Messiah, that Savior is right here. No matter what trials and tribulations you have to go through. And someone said the 12th house is the hardest. Well, yeah. Pisces has got it the worst. Because we've already been all 12 signs. And we got the knowledge that we brought with us. I'd say at least 8 out of 10 anyway. Because there's some that just can't tap in. But most of us can. Most water signs can. Because we are directly connected in the web of creation. I mean, all of us are, but the water signs have that electricity that goes through the water. You know? You know how people get electrocuted if you stand in water and you... Yeah. And that is why we got... This is awake. Because somebody set fire to our rain. Hopes and fears. That just jumped out there. I guess it wasn't done yet. Hopes and fears. Is that destiny will prevail over the betrayal and the lies. Because it is lies. It is deception. It is thievery of your very life force. To keep you in a perpetual state of slavery throughout the ages. It's up to you to break those chains. You are being watched. Even if even if you, you're in your house alone and you don't have any cameras or anything. There are beings out there that can remote view. Which means they don't need a camera. They've tapped into their AI of their brain. And they're able to project, and kind of like in that movie, um, oh, what was it? Uh, the one with the vampires, the glittery vampires, where they all had special abilities. Um, Twilight? Is that the name of it? I don't remember. Anyway. That's kind of what's happening. Only we're not vampires. We're angelic and etheric beings that are tapping into our power, tapping into our gifts that are very special and you can't buy them. That's why they wanted to shut that down. They want to shut that down so you can't tap into that, so you can't be that being that you're supposed to be with those special abilities because you're too busy surviving you're too busy, uh, you know, taking care of life. And you're too busy not, not you know, to, to hone and nurture those abilities. I'm here to teach you that. That's the reason why I sent out, uh, I'm sending out 13 boxes of, of, of magic manifestation wishes. And then next month I will do another 13. And that will be mala beads, which, you know, you look... That's, that's prayer beads. So, 
Each box that I send out is going to be a manifestation to help the collective to manifest their best possible outcome and to take back their power. All right? And, and, and trust me when I say I have had the powers that has did was in my face up against me the whole time I've been awakening. Final outcome is the Three of Swords. If you allow this, this is a bribe. Somebody's not well. This is a bribe. This was a setup. It's almost like the whole twin flame thing was hijacked and a setup. You are your own twin flame. And that is why you have to find your power. So you can't be tempted to take something that's going to make you sick. That will hurt you and put your light out. They may even offer to pay you. And if you take it, understand where it's going to take you. 333. Three, three. Can't make it up. What is this Three of Cups about spirit? If you're an MVP, most valuable player, you will walk away from this because you'll know and you'll see as a high priestess, empress, emperor, that it is a trick. This is fair warning to all that watch my channel. And I'm not here for popularity. I'm here to help. And if you want my help, take it. If you don't, that's fine too. And I forgive all of those who have come against me during this time. And I send you love. And I send you healing. And I wish you nothing but the best. Okay, so on this Three of Cups, we have somebody walking away, possibly from a marriage where somebody got cheated on. This King of Wands is coming forward after dealing with a three-party situation themselves. And this, this King of Wands is going after what he loves, but is emotionally immature and isn't sure about how to approach the Divine Feminine. Because the Divine Feminine is not sure about them at all. They haven't done all the work. They barely scratched the surface in the King of Wands energy. They're still karmic. So the Empress is just not sure because she wants somebody that is of equal power to her and this is like the story of Cleopatra and Mark Anthony okay think of it that way so Cleopatra's desire although she was a queen married to a king was for a knave was was for somebody who was not in fact or, or I think Mark Anthony was was a scribe he was somebody who who was a philosopher. She fell in love with him. And their affair brought down an entire kingdom. Because that was the one that was meant for her. And even though it didn't work out in their favor, it brought down an entire kingdom. 
of ruler, ru rulership, dictatorship, and slavery. Keep that in mind. And Cleopatra killed her own sister because her sister was prettier than her. This is the kind of things that are going to be exposed and what do I want to say? Transmuted. So all of this treachery that we have been enduring these thousands and thousands of years is being brought to be brought up to be released. All that trauma from Tiamat. We are on Terra, we are on Gaia. But we were we were in many different places in many different timelines. And once you start remembering that you will be overwhelmed with love and joy and to give freely to others without expecting anything in return because you've already you already know what it's like to lose everything all right so the challenge here is to wait because the offer that's coming in you need to let go of what it should be and see it for what it is prince or pauper there is only one love for all of us and the Queen of Cups is here to show it to everyone through nurturing, caring, loving, mirroring images. Trying to show you how special you are no matter what you got. How special you are no matter what you got. We are all worthy of the Two of Cups. And that's magically delicious. This is the kind of things that they're trying to keep from us. Our magic and our divine counterpart. Understand there's a lot writing on this and this is why it's being done the changing of the guard no more dictatorship no more monarchy no more no more that's what's writing on this that's why it's being pushed so hard and the less amount of people the better because then they can rule over that many people and think that there's not going to be a rebellion. Well, I'm here to tell you that this is a repeat of the 1760s and 70s. So remember, look back at what was happening at that time in your history books or in your, in, online. You can even find it online. Even though that a lot of that stuff's been altered. Understand that a lot of Google's been altered. I've, I've, I've seen videos of programmers who have been hired by Google to go in and change the information. They don't have that stuff on online no more because it's all been blocked. But I saw it with my own two eyes. And I was just flabbergasted. But that information should still be there intact. So this is why you're being forced to wait and to let go of what you thought this was going to be because there's been a magic spell put upon you through this twin flame dynamic through the through the the illusion of what you thought it should be a twin flame relationship is to catalyze you into being your own twin flame and waking up 
that is what it's for. Sometimes it's not for forever. A lot of times it's not. It's too toxic because you all are mirroring to each other what you don't like about yourself. So you have to let go of that idea. Love anyway. Let go of the idea that this was supposed to happen for the mere fact that it was supposed to happen. It doesn't matter why. It was to help you be catalyzed into your awakening. And whatever magic was done here has backfired and people are still waking up and they're still realizing that they are enough to have true, real love in their life and they're filling their own cup despite what has been done to them. And I posted a bunch of stuff on my community page. If you're not familiar with my story, get familiar with it. Because once I was a millionaire's wife. And I went all the way to the bottom. To come back up. Ace of Pentacle or Ace of Cups to the Six of Wands. We win. Because we went within to seek our answers and bossed up. Most valuable players are on the rise. Ain't shit nobody can do about it now. Oh, they did a couple years ago, though, didn't they? Can't do it again. Ain't nobody falling for it this time. And they're plotting and scheming and trying to figure out a way to change it. But there's too many of us that are awake now that are MVPs. That means we're here to change the game. Change the game. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, or an Aries. What else was down there? I'm thinking, I don't think there was any other major arcanas down there, was there? Except for maybe the world card. Nope. Nope. So those are the signs that I'm getting so far. There was a choice. Factors affecting the situation. No matter where you were at during this transition, there was a choice. And I'm hearing that song, go on, take the money and run. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people did. They thought that was the way they were supposed to do this. By destroying other people's lives. They got paid. One way or another, even if it's just etherically, they got paid. When Pluto leaves Capricorn, it's time for the devil is to get his due, to get his payment for whatever fuckery or, or manipulations were done here as the outside influence, like I said. Look it up, 1760s to 1770s. This is what we are repeating. It's up to us to change it, to make it different this time. We are capable of governing ourselves. If we're capable of making magic, trust me when I say we are governing, we can govern ourselves. And there's temperance, there's that earth angel. And there's that queen of pentacles coming after an earth angel. Not a smart move. You know why? Because no matter what you try to do to this earth angel, 
they're still balanced. They're still calm. They're still smiling. No matter what you did. Just understand. Completely understand. That what you did in the dock. Especially if you didn't expose it to anybody but gossip. It's going to come back. And this is what they're going to, they're going to make up stories in the media to make you concentrate on that and not see the karma that these others are going to reap. And, and in my opinion, I don't want to see it. That's just me. I want everybody to be healthy happy, honorable, and enjoying life. And that's what I wish for the collective. Not this. No matter what side you're on. I love you all. No matter what's happened to me, it has not closed my heart chakra. And it hasn't broken me to the point where I am hateful towards fellow man because I know they were manipulated by others and by the dark. Just like the lady I helped in the shelter. You know, she wasn't in her right mind. So she was easily manipulated and told things that just were not true. And all I did was help her because she was really, really sick. And she had nothing. So I had very little, but I shared it with her. And for that, I was ostracized. So remember that when you get ostracized after you're helping somebody, that that's not really them. That's Agent Smith jumping in and out of bodies. All right? Take it with a grain of salt and keep moving. Smile anyway. Be stronger than your mind. Here is your wheel of fortune. You are supposed to be very, very rich. And you got all these other mofos playing in your energy. Trying to make you give up your give up your sovereignty for shiny things and misconduct and lust greed that 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 that'll rip your uh, destiny right out from underneath of you I can tell you that much I had to swallow my pride big time big time because it was my biggest fear to walk into that homeless shelter in 2020. And I felt humiliated. I felt ostracized. And I felt like, is this really it? But it wasn't. Then I took a deep breath and I said, okay. So we're here. Consider this a springboard because I'm not going to let it happen again. And if it does, I will start again because you cannot keep taking from me anymore. I will always come back and I will always come back and get what was mine anyway. All right? Even if I have to buy it. Understand that my guides are strong. I'm not a high priestess in reverse, and I listen to God every time he speaks. I listen to my higher self. I listen to Archangel Michael. I listen. 
And then those are the messages I give to you. Because I am a channel for the highest good of all. And in no way do I manifest selfishly. I manifest for the highest good of all. I don't say me, 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 me. I say us. The collective. All of us. Harming none and helping all is how it shall be. This I make true. Three times three times three. Three times three times three. So if, if you look at this as something that is painful, because you're going to see it. If you have these abilities, you're going to see it before it happens. These are people you love. So is it going to hurt? Yeah. It is going to hurt. In fact, it's going to be downright heartbreaking. But you have to be strong, my babies. You have to be strong. And you have to be balanced. No matter what's coming. Because they're watching. Trust me, they're watching. They're watching everything you do. They're watching everything I do. They're watching an entire collective here. Because that's what they do. They feed off your fear. They feed off your pain. And they feed off of your, your sadness. Your depression. So when they bring this to you, they know how you're going to react. And they are going to feast. Stay balanced. Don't give them that self that satisfaction, if at all possible. Celebrate their life for what time you do have to spend with these people. Okay. Judgment Day is here. And all will be brought out from behind the moon. Anything that was hidden. Like I said, it's going to be hurtful. This is going to be stressful. But we all got to keep going. And we got to take back our power. And not give it away for money, for power, for status in the collective. Because in the long run, that ain't going to do you much good. A lot of these people are going to be checking out because they that's going to be sapped from them. This is the return of Christ. It will happen. It is happening. And it's in each and every one of us. Not just one man. And what you thought love should look like in the past. You are now illuminating yourself. As to what it actually is. And the inner child is healing. And there is a death to whatever somebody was trying to make you believe about what your soulmate should be. That's up to you to decide. Not some promoted uh, journey that isn't real. Because it isn't real. And that, that's kind of the part that's going to hurt. But it's going to be over once and for all. And people are going to start taking back their power. And becoming the most valuable players. Instead of just cogs in the machine. 
double Pisces and Gemini energy with Scorpio. So yeah, this is going to be some intense stuff here, guys. And I want you to be ready. I want you to be ready. We got a new deck here. Let's see what comes out. I got freedom this morning, which is what Aquarius represents. So Pluto in Aquarius represents a hidden freedom. A hidden collective freedom. But we all got to be together. We can't, we, can't, we can't do this all by ourselves. We all got to collect together and, and, and push the paradigm into a different direction than what it's going. You know? War, strife. Those are the four horsemen. We need to kick them out of the way and love each other. Miracles. Success. Stillness. Openness and release. Wow. So there's the moon. It says to be open and release the things that no longer serve you. Because there is successful miracles afoot in the stillness of the moment. Be still for just a moment. See the miracle that's right in front of you. You see in the mirror every day when you wake up. And you will be successful in your endeavors. All you gotta do is ask. Ask for your vision. Ask for what the divine truly wants for you. And your miracles will happen. I promise. Like I said, go to my community page. See where I was in 2020. Miracles can happen. But you have to believe, you have to have faith, and you have to talk to God, because He's there. I know some of you don't even believe. Hell, my own mother, who was a devout Christian, the day before she died, said, I don't think I believe in God anymore. And that destroyed me because she had always put her faith in the Almighty. We are all God. We are all one. And the sooner we figure that out, the faster these miracles can come into play. This is already a long reading. I apologize for the rant, but... That's the message I was given this morning, or I should say last night, because of, you know, I was at my, I was in my sleep, and I saw it and I heard it. Transforming fate into hope, wisdom, and destiny. So this is faded, but the light is there. All you have to do is call it in. Call it in. That's your destiny. But do it from a place of wisdom, of knowing. Because you went within to get your answers instead of looking outside. Because all of that was a lie. It was all made for TV. Hopefully you didn't fall for it. But if you did, know that redemption is at hand. And it's up to you to take your power back and not allow what has been done in the dark 
to kill your spirit. And there are remedies you can look up to stop the proteins from mixing around in your body. You, you can destroy them, but you have to seek the wisdom to find. I don't know all of them. I only know a few. But I, you know, I can't make anybody believe that. They're going to have to find it on their own. Because, like I said, one of my own is one of those people. Somebody I love with every breath I take. And to know that they've done that and, and to know what it's done to them is devastating. So I feel you on every single level here. From that perspective to this one. We had we had to go through it. It's it was part of the plan. It's been part of the plan for millennia. They knew this was coming. And they want to live forever and rule forever. But it's time for that matrix to come down and for us to take the power back as humans, loving, kind, honorable humans. I got breath here and this is a, this is a big part of it. I, I'm going to make mala beads. They have 108 beads on them. And I use them to count 108 breaths when I meditate. Because that takes you to the euphoria state of your third eye. And a light show happens that you can't forget. Alright? That's just a heads up for those of you who will be interested in the next round of box, my, my, my wish boxes. Okay? This says, return to breath. Be calm in the mind and breathe in life. Desire, heart's true desire, gratitude, and, in, and address inner blocks. Anything that blocks you from being able to converse with spirit. could be attached to a devil and we have boundaries reclaiming space inner outer and energetic boundaries draw that boundary don't let anybody in your bubble that don't belong there and that includes etherically community connect with others support give and receive angels give and receive my angels support those that are helping in this very treacherous ocean of indignity and suffering they need your help support them and if you're one of them I support you in any way I can that's not financial understand you see the third eye in a group is creating that inner element that reverberates out into the web of creation. So you're creating at all times. And a group creation is stronger than just one person. Because they've come after us each individually to try to stomp out this beautiful light 
Now it's time to come together, MVPs, and take back what's ours. Not by force, but by spirit. I'm going to pull a hidden realm for you guys. And that's going to be the end of this reading because it was really long. And this was the message that I was given to give you. So I'm hoping it makes a difference in somebody's life. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe these. Ah, these. Wow. Four cards here, guys. I, you're going to have to bear with me because there's a lot lot to unpack right here and, and I can't believe these, these cards came out with this reading but I'm going to try to read them as fast as I can so we don't hold this up any longer than it needs to be I understand that it's difficult to hang in here for over an hour okay so the first card is the map maker of destiny authentic purpose, inspiration and free will this says, when the map maker of destiny appears, it's a sign that you're being given an opportunity to transform fate into destiny. At birth, each human being is given a unique map with myriad paths that intersect one another. Your map of destiny shows the places you're meant to visit, places where you will be challenged to evolve into the highest aspects of the self. Remember, that you're a spark of the divine come to earth to experience itself in human form and as such your path is unique it's also somewhat preordained and fate represents the events in your life that were meant to happen and that you can't change fate is transformed into destiny according to how you respond to the circumstances destiny offers you the ability to make great opportunities out of a faded experience so free will and choice are possible at certain points on your map. Now is one of those times. You're faced with a relationship or circumstance brought to you by fate. How you respond will lead you into your perfect destiny. Your ally may assume the form of a soulmate come to heal your heart and be your companion. Perhaps your challenger makes you face the things within you that must change in order for you to express your highest good. Maybe fate brings you the anal an ally in the form of a wonderful new project or a challenger in the form of a failed business. No matter which form they take, all are perfect expressions of fate inviting you into your destiny. Pay attention as your map unfolds now. And remember that fate makes the map, but destiny is determined by the manner in which you engage your journey. Absolutely. You're not going to believe the cards that came out for this reading. I can't believe it. It's, it. It totally blows my mind. Totally blows my mind. I mean, spirit surprises me on the regular. Especially with that download this morning. I was just like, oh, okay. Um, am, am I qualified? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I asked. Am I qualified to give that message? All right, the sacred union, and it's in an ally position. The sacred union is all about beautiful, true partnership. It shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side, helping you co-create the greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you receive this ally, know that you're never alone on your path. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. Faith brings in this energy. The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances, friendships, family, business, and of course romance. No matter what the, what the form, this message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by this sacred union. This is a very positive omen. Miracles, miracles, success. Sisters of the season, and it's in reverse. So this is this is somebody who wants to jump from without doing the work. This is somebody who wants accolades without doing the work. And you can't 
It doesn't work like that. You must go through every season to come out on the other side as a whole divine being. You can't skip steps. You know, and, and, and these 20 something year olds who ain't even seen that side of life are telling you how to live your life. Remember where it's coming from. Remember, it's not coming from somebody who's actually experienced it. Some of them have in past lives, but a lot of times, some of these people, they, they, they just, they're, they're, they're like parrots. They're just repeating what they've been taught or heard. No experience at all. Be aware of that. All right, this says, the sisters of the season send you a warning that you're trying to jump the gun and go from winter to summer without paying heed to spring or skip from summer to winter without allowing for the possibility of autumn. Moving too quickly, looking for shortcuts, and artificially trying to prolong a hoped-for result will not yield what you desire. There are no shortcuts. It's time to rethink your plans. All the sisters are nature's cherished daughters, and all are important. Be careful of the difficulties they force you to endure when you will try to trick them away from each other. Better yet, better to let nature take her course. Her daughters will be very happy, and so will you if you let them express themselves in order. And the final card here is the Web Weaver. Ooh, dream weaver, I believe you can get me through the night. I got that on the last reading, too. On the last general reading, anyway. And this is page 11, number 11. Twin Flame. I'm so proud of you all that have come this far with me and who have awakened to the real challenges of life and conquered them and gotten through because it wasn't an easy it wasn't an easy journey and it's we still got a ways to go babies let's do it together let's love ourselves and do it together as an ally the web weaver rejoices that you creations are far reaching and have positive effects on the many. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into the web of creation. When the web weaver appears as your ally, she grants you the way to, to, to others of like mind and intention and lets you know that you're not alone in your endeavors. Understand that is what this whole reading is telling you. You're not alone. You're connected to all. Just when you need to make a connection, like magic, synchronicity occurs. Music reverberates through the web and plays in harmony with your own. This is a sign to trust in all the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. Not just them, for you too. If your query is about a relationship, the web weaver gives you the assurance that meaningful, meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason to hope. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember, the web reaches far and wide, and you'll only be capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to all the patterns you see play out in your life. All things will be revealed through the web. And some of it's going to hurt. Be prepared, my babies. And love. And smile. And pull as much faith out of you as possible anyway. Fuck them. They don't win. We win. That's how the story goes. 
They just don't like it. All right. Well, if you're interested in a personal reading, please see my information information in the box below. And uh, please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. Try to make this video reach far and wide because I do feel like it's a very important message. Okay? Until then, I'll see you guys at 3 o'clock. I have a 3 o'clock live stream today. And I will be doing Scorpio and Pisces uh, video, you know. I mean, I've gotten a late start today, but they're coming. I, I, I've got lots of things in the works right now, so please bear with me. Take care, everybody. I love you very much. Bye for now.